The very first time I had spit roasted lamb was on Greek Easter on the island of Zakynthos. There's nothing more classically Greek. I'll never forget that day. As the lamb was roasting, we all took turns turning the spit. This evening takes me back to that time so many years ago. Tonight, we're feasting on spit roasted lamb, a Greek bread salad with capers, olives, and herbs, and a feta dill mint and cucumber salad. On the island of Syros, we'll visit a very hip and trendy beach resort, shop for local ingredients at one of the oldest Greek specialty food shops, and meet a fourth generation candy maker for a little something sweet. And I can't tell you how happy it makes me to share this night with you. I love to travel the globe in search of new food and wine discoveries. For me, it's about more than returning home with a handful of new recipes. It's about taking the spirit of Austria, of Italy, of Greece, and of the Danube River and injecting some of their magic into our everyday lives. Food has a unique ability to transport us. Join me as we discover new plates and places on our culinary journey together. Joanne Weir's Plates and Places is brought to you by... With AMA Waterways, guests can climb, pedal, and journey beyond the beaten path while cruising on storied rivers across Europe. You can find out more at amawaterways.com. Our winemaking is the result of teamwork and patience. Working together, we dedicate our best efforts with every vine, grape, and bottle. Washington Vintners. Since 1899, my family has shared our passion for everything that goes into our Mutti 100% Italian tomatoes. Only tomatoes. Only Mutti. Start something delicious. California Figs from Valley Fig Growers. One of the hidden gems on the island of Syros is this beautiful resort that we visited to just hang out and have a day of relaxation. A refreshing cocktail made with chipero, lime, and pink peppercorns is the absolute perfect start to our adventure. I want to toast to all of you who have had the most incredible spirit for this week. I'm so happy that you feel in your heart the same way that I do and am absolutely in love with Ciro. Yeah. Cheers to Ciro. Nama! Yamas means cheers in Greek, and what better way to celebrate than with the local spirit called Chipero. Chipero is a very potent distilled spirit made in Greece and can be drunk hot or, like today, chilled. This particular one has an herbaceous and fruity aroma, and I just love the illustration on the bottle. It's been a part of Greek celebrations since the 14th century, and today we're joining this amazing tradition. It's moments like these that create memories. This is why I love Greece so much. On our way to the candy factory, we stroll through the main square of Ermupoli, which is the capital of the Cyclades Islands. The pastel colors are so beautiful and create an old world feeling. The neoclassical architecture is truly unique to this island. And of course, I love walking along the winding streets. I'm here at Siku Tris. This is an amazing place in Syros. And what they do is they make two different kinds of candy. I'm here with Dina and also my fabulous friend, Elias, who is going to translate because I only know about four words of Greek, but I'm learning, right? You're doing great. <laughs> anyway, tell, ever tell us a little bit about how long our family, how long has your family been making candy? Her father came to this island in 1922, and then in 1928, he began making the candies here. Okay. And now this is the fourth generation that she's passing it down to her children. Wow, that's so great. So you make two different kinds, yes? Two different kinds of lukumia. I think I have two kinds of lukumia. Yes. 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 So, yes, she does the chavadopitis and the lukumia is the two treats here, and they both have multiple flavors. Well, I love this because you say those both so fast. So it's lukumia, 
Yes, Lucumia. Yes. And the other one is Halva Tropita. Tropita. Yes. <laughs> Will you show us how you make them? Boris, <laughs> Namas Nixis Of course. Yes. Excellent. Three plain ingredients. Okay. Water. Water. Sugar. Sugar. Corn flour. There's nothing else. Wow. So when she says corn flour, it's corn starch. That's what we call it. Corn. So is the lukumi in there? Is this the mixture? Now? Okay. Okay. One and a half hours. One and a half hours to start its boiling. Wow. Could go as long as two. Wow. When it's almost ready, we, we add in the color before this ends. Oh, okay. No. It's all organic and clean. Oh, that's great. Wow. That's bergamot, yes. Oh, rose, for sure. This? This. <laughs> Perfume. She was saying we can give it to the ladies. You should smell, it's really amazing. <laughs> That's how she's testing it. Look. Gainis Kedon? Almost. Needs Almost. a little more. This is all here so that it doesn't stick. What is it? This is flour. The only two things that it won't stick to is wood and flour. Now he's adding the flavors. And the color. You can see that's not a real science there with the color and the no. flavoring. It's definitely no measurement. Just the eye. Yeah. Oh, how interesting is wow. that? Wow. Look at that. Coming off the, woo, that is cool. <laughs> that has to be so hot. Oh, that's what that's for. It's wild. I feel like I'm back in the 1800s. I know, right? Look, it's still bubbling. Look at this. Is this amazing? Wow. I wonder how often they make this. Posa teti akane teti nimera. However many we need. I would knew that's what she would say. <laughs> Anywhere from up to six or seven even. A day? For the of these per day. Oh, it's a lot. Watching the process of how they make lukumi is mesmerizing. Ancient techniques passed down through the generations in this family have merged with modern day, resulting in something pretty extraordinary. And these master candy makers make working with molten lava hot sugar look easy. The expression, practice makes perfect, comes to mind. And perfection is in the taste. Once the candy is cool to the touch, it's cut into a manageable size and taken out of the wooden molds. It's carefully coated with powdered sugar so it won't stick together. They even process their own powdered sugar right here on site. It's a very precise What is the flavor process. of this one? Tini gefsi meftado. Triandafilo. The rose. Rose. Oh. Is that your favorite? Afto ine to pio agapimeno mu, to pio agapimeno su. Bergamot. That's the one she likes the most.
After it's cut into neat little squares, the lukumi gets a final dusting of the sugar. Do they make more lukumi or also or halva to, 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 uh, to uh, top? Uh, what do they? What do people buy more? Tia what? Tia what? Razi o cosmos pio poli. Halva to pite zi lukumi. Ke ta dio. Almost to lukumi. Πήρε το όνομα πρώτο, Λουκούμι Συριανό και άφησε λίγο στην άκρη τη Χαλβαδόπιτα. Λουκούμι just got a lot more recognition, but got they've it. always yeah. been equally as popular. Okay. And let's not forget the delicious Χαλβαδόπιτα, kind of a nougat sandwich, which comes wrapped in crisp white paper. The Λουκούμι, on the other hand, is packed in little boxes and hand-sealed with cellophane. This kind of attention to detail from start to finish is inspiring, as is Dina's spirit. What an amazing candy maker. So warm and welcoming, like so many people on Ciro's that treat strangers like family. Cheers, everybody. Another class. Cheers, cheers, cheers. It's a pretty good view for a class, huh? Mm. Okay. Louis's been here, he's spit roasting the lamb, and it'll end up being on the spit for four hours. And we're definitely gonna be joined by some Greeks tonight. It'll be really an interesting night. So why don't you go through your folder and find these recipes? Greek bread salad and cucumber feta dill mint salad. By the way, this outdoor kitchen was, everything has been brought in from the refrigerator to the stove to the um, oven was all brought in for this class. So they built this kitchen for us. It's a really great convection oven, which is quite hot. And you might have to move the shelves, but we're only using this for toasting the bread, I think for the bread salad, right? What you're going to do is preheat the oven to 375. We're going to, instead of cutting the bread, we're going to tear it. So we're gonna use that nice brown bread that we've been eating each day, and you're gonna tear it, and then you place it on a baking sheet, drizzle with a good amount of olive oil, and then toss it with a little bit of salt and bake it in the oven until they're crisp and golden, which is about 10 minutes. Watch those because the oven is really hot. In a bowl, you're gonna combine the tomatoes, so these are halved cherry tomatoes, um, along with cucumbers, peppers, so the peppers are seeded and cut into one inch pieces. I like the pieces to be all about the same size. It just looks better for the finished salad. This bread smells so good. Let's get the bread. Let's put this on a baking sheet and we can put that in the oven. Are these your croutons? Lots of oil? Yep. Good salt? Yeah. Okay, good. What are they on, 450? Yes. Let's just watch them, yes, just watch. Peel, seed it, and I don't even think you need to seed those. And then I would do one half inch dice. Your size is perfect. No, you can peel them, but don't, you don't have to seed them. How's the bread, you guys? How's the bread? That's fast. Make sure it's crispy, all right? Want me to look at them? No, I think that you can take them out. I think they're good. I do. Yeah, they're good, huh? I'll share it with you, Sue. It's a little hot, though. I just want to wait till it cools. It's killer hot. 
Ready? Ready. This is hot. Okay. Oh, this is the best. Thank you. Oh, that is phenomenal, right? Oh, oh that is amazing. Just off the main square is a shop that specializes in everything from 100-year-old glass vessels to soap to sponges to all of the ingredients made and grown on the island of Syros. It's here we buy all we need to prepare our spit-roasted lamb feast. We're here at one of the first stores in Greece, specialty food stores. Well, here for more than 100 years. Over a hundred years. Wow. Lidrikios pratirio ap to restirio vo kome fiaxi pusis kevazmi ke paragume. And and in the past 15 years, they've kind of really focused internally on, you know, collecting the local local specialties and really expanding the offerings here at the store. Kinotan olo to emporio ya oli tin elada. Ligo meta ti Turki ka to hila to hila okta kosa ekosi tri ekos pede. So he's saying that this was kind of an area of commerce and markets for a hundred years, and it was one of the first in all of Greece. Yeah. Oh, so another thing that he's emphasizing is on a small island like this, doing things like that and really preserving the culture of the island is kind of what also kind of gets them through the winters and you know really helps keep the economy bustling which is important. And that's something that we've learned throughout this trip is really unique to this island. This island has that year-round you know, economy that's, that's always thriving, and this city is always vibrant. This is one of the few places where the city's more vibrant in the winter than it is in the summer. Wow. Yeah. 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 The island really focuses on things that are indigenous to the right. island, and yeah. uh, they, the island really works to maintain its culture and maintain its heritage and how unique it is to all the other islands and all the other places. Well, so these two, uh, these are the two different kinds of candy that are produced here on the yep. island, right? Yep. So maybe we can talk a little bit about that. Sure. Ίσως το πιο γνωστό και πιο famous προϊόν του νησιού φτιάχνονται πάρα πολλά χρόνια. Wow. Μάλιστα, σίγαγαν από πολύ παλιά σε πάρα πολλοί αμέρι του κόσμου, ιδιαίτερα στη Γαλλία. So this is a unique treat to the island, and it gets exported all over the, basically Europe primarily, but even outside of Europe. And um, right. in France, that's kind of one of the countries that is the leading exporter oh. or importer. Importer of. Yeah. And originally, this came from Turkey. Turkey. We call it Turkish delight. Yeah. What different flavors do you have? Originally, it's uh, rose. Rose. Mastica. Rose water, mastic, mastic, right? Yeah. This is the pure, because put inside no perfume. The original mastica from Chios. In right. The, from the sap uh, of the trees right. in Chios. Pergamon. What is it? Bergamot. Oh, bergamot. bergamot. Yes. And uh, vanilla. Oh, and vanilla. Before, okay. Because now I see there's like rosemary, there's Ooh. lavender. Chocolate. Yes, <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> ouzo. There's, I even saw In tomato. That's crazy, yeah. right? It's not Greek salad, yes. Yeah, it's a Greek salad. <laughs> it's a Greek salad candy. Yes. This is the one that's really traditional. Okay. And try. I love this. Yes. This is my favorite. When your parents, his parents, brought some to me in the U.S., I think this is so delicious. That's my favorite. Break off a piece. Isn't it good? No, no, no. Isn't it? Ah, katalava, telia, telia. No, 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 no. To blabo, to tetar to ipat. Afto do. Afto, bravo. Oh, I love this stuff. It's her favorite. We got our secret ingredient here. The name of this. Halvadorida. What's that? It's the secret for the halva topita and the halva. Oh. This is oh. in a small, small piece. 
put it in the water yes. for hours. Τη βράζουμε μέχρι να μείνει το λίγο. What is this stuff? So what they do is they take a really small piece of that, yes. and they boil it up, and yes. it becomes almost like a reduction, which then gets mixed with egg whites and becomes the base for the chavalopita. Oh. So what is it a root? Ρίζα, ρίζα. A root. A root. It's a root. Yeah, yeah. It's a root. Και αυτή εδώ πέρα λέγεται χαλβαδόριζα. Χαλβαδόριζα is the name of the root, so that's why it's called χαλβαδόπιτα. Χαλβαδόπιτα και χαλβάς. Wow. Χαλβάς is the new guy. Τέλεια. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Do why the the wafer on the outside? It seems very religious to me. It's like the Catholic. Yeah. Και και το λόγο που είναι ωραίο αυτό είναι γιατί είναι να μην κολλάει. Since it's so sticky, they just prevent it from sticking to the paper and it's sticking to your hands. He said like a Catholic wafer, right? Exactly. He said it's the same. Right. That's funny. Yeah. Μήπως θέλουν να ρωτήσουν κάτι που τους έχει κάνει εντύπωση για να το εξηγήσουμε τώρα. Oh, okay. He's asking if anyone has any questions regarding any foods or anything. I want to first ask you, did you like the um, yeah. avadopita? Yeah. Did you like up. it? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? And like Joanne alluded to earlier, these are the best gifts to bring home. You can fit so many. You can layer them like clothing in your suitcase. <laughs> The lamb's coming off the spit. Check it out. Woohoo! You would not believe how good this smells. This just falls apart. That's incredible. Yanni, this is amazing. My friend Yanni from the local Taverna has roasted this lamb to perfection. Yanni told me when he was a kid, he would help to break down 40 lambs for Easter. He's done this so many times, it literally was on the table in a few minutes. And with our two beautiful salads and amazing local wine, this has the makings of a night to remember. I love cooking with everyone, creating this memorable meal and celebrating together. And this gorgeous view is the extra special ingredient. Everybody raise a glass. You all did an amazing job. Thank you so much for having such great spirit in the outdoor Greek kitchen. It was so fun. And uh, cheers and enjoy. Cheers. Yes, yes. Yes, yes.
You can visit our website to find and print selected recipes, get information about each episode, learn more about Joanne and the show, see behind the scenes photos, provide email feedback and more. It's all at joanneweir.com forward slash plates dash places. Joanne Weir's Plates and Places is brought to you by... With AMA Waterways, guests can climb, pedal, and journey beyond the beaten path while cruising on storied rivers across Europe. You can find out more at amawaterways.com. Our winemaking is the result of teamwork and patience. Working together, we dedicate our best efforts with every vine, grape, and bottle. Washington Vintners. Since 1899, my family shared our passion for everything that goes into our Mutti 100% Italian tomatoes. Only tomatoes. Only Mutti. Start something delicious. California figs from Valley Fig Growers. 